This factory in Pennsylvania is making Ukraine's most important ammunition. 155 millimeter rounds are basically giant bullets used in artillery guns. The Scranton Army Ammunition Plant has been making steel shells since 1953. And today, demand is so high that it's making 11,000 of them every month. Ukraine may be firing more than half of that each day. They're also less expensive than fancier weapons. Javelin anti-tank missiles can cost as much as $78,000, and these shells sell for as little as $800. The Scranton Army Ammunition Plant builds the steel shells for the U.S.'s most basic 155mm round, the M795. The U.S. is producing 24,000 a month, almost double what it was making before Russia invaded Ukraine, and nearly half of that supply comes from this factory. Everything starts in the billet yard. Workers move steel rods to the next phase, the forge shop. Four robotic saws slice the rods into 14-inch long chunks called billets. Then they heat them for an hour at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This softens them up so they're easy to shape. Then machines stretch and shape the billets into their final form. Another one adds a nose, which makes it aerodynamic. They're inspected and then fed to the production shop. Then the grand finale. Workers reheat the billets, then cool them in a 6,000 gallon oil bath. After some final lathing and polishing, workers hang the shells on hooks. Then they get a fresh paint job. The entire process takes about three days. After the shells are done, they take a truck ride to another factory that adds TNT. Then they're ready for the battlefield. It's there that soldiers will add the fuse and turn it into a lethal bomb. After World War II, 155mm became the standard artillery size for NATO countries. Today, the U.S. has rounds equipped with GPS guidance systems that cost over $100,000 per shell. Since the war began, all the NATO allies have sent Ukraine some form of military aid. While expensive weapons like these make headlines, it's artillery that Ukraine is using more than anything. This past spring, Ukrainian forces were firing up to 8,000 155mm shells a day. The army has spent billions updating its factories to make more 155s. They want to make 85,000 shells per month by 2028, over three times the current output. But it could still take years to refill the stockpile. You need to hire people. You need more of the steel to build the shells. You need to uh, have a larger factory space. You have to follow all of the safety uh, requirements because each of these has to meet a military uh, specification for usage and have to go through the inspection process. But the U.S. Army says its goals for increasing its 155 output are on pace. That's good for Ukraine, as it could be the difference in taking back their country. In June, they launched a counteroffensive against Russian troops. They tried to break Russian defenses with heavy tanks at first, but switched their strategy to artillery fire.